Hi, my name is Gabriel St. Pierre Lemieux. I am a PhD student at the Sherbrooke University. For this series of screencasts, I want to present a small Python code I made for the Open Form Toolkit. Uh, I call it Supermarine because it's uh, used to create a marine impeller. Um, also, I find this format really advantageous because it will allow you to follow the presentation with the code if you wish to. Uh, so if you don't wish to see Python code, you, you, you won't see much, much in this presentation. Uh, so now let's start the presentation. I will start by explaining why I made Supermarine and what it does. Then I will tell you a bit how to use it. Uh, I will finish by explaining how the code works, focusing more on the build of a block mesh dictionary and the algorithm behind Supermarine uh, than the code itself. Like I told you, you won't see a lot of code in this presentation. If you want to see the code, you just get it on GitHub. Uh, click on the Octocat. Um, this will make this presentation much more accessible and much more useful. So, why I made Supermarine? Creating a good mesh is a complex task that, which asks a lot of time. Um, it's, it's often the wall at, that will stop the people uh, from using CFD to understand the physics of a reactor or, or a mixing device. Um, the easy solution could be to buy a commercial software uh, or to use a less interesting tetrahedral mesh. It, it's not recommended. It's, it's preferable to use a well-structured hexahedral mesh. Uh, a good tool for, that, for doing those kind of mesh is block mesh, but the tool is really hard to set up. Um, luckily, uh, that's why I made Supermarine. Uh, Supermarine is made to, ma to create a block mesh dictionary uh, with ease. It uh, allows the creation of a steer tank geometry, and those tanks are found in uh, chemical and biochemical engineering. Uh, that makes the solution really, really good for academic research and uh, for the people that just want to study a bit uh, how CFD work. The concept is simple. It's a cylinder in which you cut little sections to uh, create your impeller. Uh, beside you see in the green is the algorithm uh, map. So the advantages of Supermarine. Supermarine is a Python script. That's make that's mean you can do what you want with that code. You can adapt it, you can change it, and you can work really hard on it to create a really sophisticated sophisticated shape that uh, you will publish <laughs> hopefully. Um, the, the method I provide in Supermarine uh, is really simple and try to not use any exotic library and uh, not even a strange function of block mesh. Um, it's make the, the, the geometry really, really predictable and the meshing generation step also predictable. Uh, the mesh uh, I made with Supermarine uh, usually reach a really good quality with a minimum of effort uh, and pass all the check, check mesh tests I throw at him. Uh, the bad part of the code is you need a really good spatial perception to use the code uh, really well. Also, uh, I use some shortcut so the code is not always uh, perfect for the geometry and won't be uh, uh, maybe won't be really well suited for a uh, really precise application uh, for the industry for the in industries. Um, finally, uh, the code is a base, so you it can be uh, much more complicated and much more powerful, uh, but it, it might reach that state with time. Uh, for now, let's look a bit how uh, Supermarine is designed. So, the basic geometry is quite simple. You, you got a, a square center and a circle around it and it's repeated for uh, actually uh, for each layers. You can have 
uh, as much as as uh, Taurus you want on the radial side and as, as much as you want uh, off layer also. Um, the reason why we use a little square in the center of the cylinder is uh, it's allow uh, the generation of a good meshing on the boundary of the cylinder. If you already look at, at uh, what is made uh, uh, in terms of meshing, you already seen this kind of uh, configuration. So the option of uh, Supermarine. Uh -huh. So we, with those options, you can create uh, a lot of uh, shape uh, that m might not always be perfect, but that are really, really close uh, from, the to, from the reality. Uh, you, we use eight global variables uh, to set up the case. So let's look at them really quickly. Uh, we have the dv variable, uh, which uh, allow you to set the number of uh, division uh, by cells. Uh, that's that's make your meshing um, coarser or less, depending on the number you, you put inside of it. You have the air quad uh, option. Uh, that contain at least two number. The first one, first one being the, the the inner cylinder with the little square, and the second the outer cylinder. And you can add as much outer cylinder you want. Uh, you have insect that is the number of division of the circle uh, radially, and, and uh, you have to use a multiple multiple of four because of the square center. Ashley, that is the number of layer you you want for the geometry uh, the shaft is where you cut the shaft and you have impeller cut which is a uh, the trickiest variable uh, it's a three-dimensional boolean matrix mat matrix which represents uh, the cylinder and where you want to cut the cylinder to uh, create your geometry and finally you have a sq ratio that is the ratio of the inner square uh, with the inner circle, so it's, it's a bit hard, but uh, let's look a bit uh, uh, on uh, how to use it quickly. Um, so uh, the typical case of uh, open form, uh, like any typical case, you will start by creating your geometry. Uh, in in that case, we will use a supermarine to do the job. Uh, you can automatize uh, supermarine to create a, a shape on command. It is a, allow you to uh, uh, do parametric study, uh, do some optimization, or uh, make the shape, shape evolve with time. Uh, after that, you have to generate your mesh. To do that, you will obviously use block mesh. But you can also use a snappy X mesh after that. So if you want to include a strange part or a complex shape inside of the meshing, you can. Uh, you can also refine the mesh using your refine mesh and topo set. Uh, and finally, I know much, much of you will want to work on two-phase flow. Uh, so to set the inlet and the outlet, you can use topo set. Uh, to create them uh, on the top on on the bottom of the uh, reactor so let's look at an example uh, quickly this is the basic configuration uh, which generate a marine impeller that's where the name of the script came from uh, for this configuration uh, we set 10 radial division uh, 10 division per quadrant and 20 division uh, actually per level uh, for the the number of little circle we have air quad so the first one is the di di uh, radius of the shaft the second one is the radius of the first part of the impeller uh, the third is the radius of the impeller and the last is the radius of the uh, vat uh, then we have we have 36 division uh, on the cylinder, uh, we have uh, five level. That's uh, the bay, the ba the base of the cylinder, the tip of the shaft, then the the eight of 
the impeller, then we have two, two sections on the top of it. One to create a little gradient in the machine. So after that, we have the shaft of option. Uh, it's the section on which the shaft is and the level rotation, uh, which is where we put a rotation on the level to, uh, for example, in that case, to create the twist in the impeller. Finally, we have the impeller cut. Uh, the impeller cut, uh, we, we use NumPy in Python uh, to create the uh, matrices. Then uh, we set uh, the places where we want the impeller to, to be cut uh, with this little strange syntax. Uh, uh, as, you, as you see, we choose uh, to cut uh, each, um, we, we choose to cut each n sec over three section. So we create three uh, piece, which is our three lob of our, uh, three blade, sorry, of our uh, impeller. So let's look what happens if we change a uh, few options. Okay, so we put uh, uh, less coarse, uh, uh, sorry, a coarser grid, so less division by uh, section. Uh, we also, bec because we put more section, so we have 72 section now, so more cells. Uh, then we, did, we do a, a little uh, uh, rotation less, um, with 70 degree instead of 90, uh, because uh, 90 with that kind of configuration, we put a, a lot of uh, deformation on the cells. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you look now, we have eight blades in, in and we change only the gray uh, option uh, to reach that kind of configuration. So you see, we have a really, really complex shape already. So now we will look on how Supermarine work. Uh, to do so, we will follow the block mesh dictionary layout. Uh, obviously, we will skip the either the either because it's not really interesting. So, for each section of the block mesh dictionary, uh, we, uh, it starts with a keyword that define it. Uh, so, for the vertices section, it starts with uh, yeah uh, vertices. Uh, Supermarine uh, built the block mesh dictionary simply by appending uh, each li line in an array and then printing it in the block mesh dictionary. Uh, to do the formatting, we used a simple uh, Python string template. Uh, you, you can see the ma matching string uh, in the yellow and the matching string in green, how to generate each piece. Uh, if you follow with the code, you can see that we have the line written uh, there just under the title. Uh, this algorithm is used for each section of the block mesh, so we won't see it for the other. So that's, that was how the vertices is written in block mesh. Now let's look how we generate them. Uh, the circle are gener generated using a unit vector that are uh, then multiplied by the ready that the user has defined in the option. Then this set is reproduced at each uh, level of the cylinder. Uh, as told before, the presentation won't focus on the code, but you can always follow the presentation with a little green line. Now let's see how the X are defined in the block mesh. The X is defined uh, by using the index of the vertices, uh, which was defined uh, in the section before. You can use just six points, but I prefer to use eight for the, six, uh, the sake of consistency and simplicity. Uh, to form the X, you have to define uh, its vertices in a particular order. To do so, you can use your right hand, the thumb define the top of the X, and your finger the order of the vertices. Uh, using this, this technique, you define the top, uh, the, the bottom, then the top. Uh, as you see, 
uh, I, I put an axis for uh, division and grading, but I don't. I didn't use X, Y, Z. Why? Uh, it's because the division you will set up in orange in that, that example uh, will follow uh, how you define your axis. Um, this will be used in a supermarine. Uh, so in supermarine, what we do is. Uh, we uh, use a template, we create a template like that, that uh, will define the rate, right vertices. So we, we displace the, the template on the, geo, on the cylinder and we rotate it with the cylinder. That will make all the axes face the center of the geometry. Uh, this, will, this will make the division uh, really easier afterward. Uh, the template is used for each cell in exception of those that the user de define so it won't create an X at the places where the user told I want the impeller here uh, we have to add a special case at the end of the code to to link uh, in fact the last axis because the last axis will be composed of, of the virtues, the last point, and the first point that were defined. After uh, defining the other cylinder, the cylinder, we have to define the center, the, the little square pieces at the center. Uh, to do so, we will create a grid, uh, a grid which is based on four points of the inner uh, circle. Um, those points are interpolated, then a grid is created uh, with that. Mm. The, the grid is then used to create the X, uh, really simply. It seems obvious, but uh, it seems obvious that if we want to make a cylinder, we will have to put, to put arcs around the geometry. Uh, Note that if you use a large amount of sector, the cylinder will be really smooth even without the arc. Uh, that being said, uh, a less obvious problem is generated by the rotation of levels in Supermarine. Uh, the straight edge of unaligned level will pass, pass inside of the cylinder, creating a, a, creating a saddle shape instead of the desired uh, cylindric geometry. Um, this forced the use of the spline to put, push back the edge on the cylinder boundary. So how the arc and the spline are defined in uh, block mesh. So the arc are defined using the index of two vertices that will compose to line and a new point that will define where the curves go. You can see that in orange in the, at the apple. Uh, all the X, uh, which has the line, so all the X in which the line pass, uh, will be distorted by the new path of the edge. Uh, it's the same concept for the spleen. So you have two points, but the only difference is that you have many point, intermediary points that you need to uh, specify for creating your uh, spline. So well, Supermarine simply pass through all pair in, uh, in the cylinder uh, to create the arc for each of those pair. Uh, the spli the spline, for the spline, we pass uh, from all uh, the vertices inside of the geometry. Uh, so the algorithm check if the point at uh, the point are uh, axially aligned. If it's not the case, it will automatically create a spline. And uh, the last part is the patches. Uh, the patch are defined face by face uh, using uh, the vertices index again. Uh, so you have to define four vertices for each faces. Uh, if the face is not defined uh, in the block mesh dictionary, it become uh, automatically merged. It, I mean, if two 
axes share or faces that share the same vertices, uh, block mesh will automatically uh, make those two geometry uh, fused again. So you won't have any patches and it will be free to flow, will be free to flow between those two. Um, so this is the largest uh, part of the Supermarine code. Uh, the main reason is that uh, you have a lot of exception for the impeller. Uh, since the impeller is user defined, we, we can have uh, a lot of uh, strange circumstances that need to be checked out. Uh, but if you want to see more or less how it's work, you can just look at uh, the wall in the code if you want. Um, as uh, as uh, you have probably seen, if you looked at uh, uh, block mesh or to, to use block mesh dictionary, uh, you can fuse two, f two face that doesn't share the same vertices. Uh, but this is ra rather difficult, uh, so I don't recommend it uh, because uh, the mesh that is generated for each of those X that you try to match must fit together. If it's not the case, you block mesh will crash. So uh, I really don't recommend this technique without a big reserve of ibuprofen. Oh, in conclusion, um, it's a bit hard to work with block mesh alone, but using Python script, you can build a pretty complex geometry. Supermarine tried to give, uh, to give you how to do it and uh, how to achieve, achieve it in a fully independent way. If you wish uh, to see some work with Supermarine, uh, a pub uh, published article that uses Supermarine with electrolytical cell is available in MDPI. I also look for a conic form breaker that could be published at the end of the summer. Uh, it uses uh, Supermarine in an automated uh, screening of a non newtonian fluid, so it's a, it would be really interesting. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you find this presentation useful and please leave a lot of comments.